I want this to be an open, friendly discussion, Perkins. Thank you, sir. I want you to feel free to share your opinions and ideas. Thank you, sir. Forget the board and the entire senior management team, along with the shareholders, blame you, our company hiring manager, for our current problems. Problem, sir? We keep hiring people who aren't up to speed on the latest office technology. Feel free to jump in anytime, Perkins. Well, I... We buy Microsoft Office, one of the most powerful tools on the face of the planet, but our people are only using 20% of its features. Does that sound smart to you, Perkins? Well... Now, I'd really like to hear your ideas on how we're going to fix this problem. Thank you, sir. I'll well, tell I... you how we're going to fix this problem. We're going to find a way to make sure we're hiring qualified people. Don't you agree that sounds like a sensible idea, Perkins? Completely, sir. Good. I'm really gratified we can have this kind of back and forth discussion. Me too, sir. Thank and you, I Perkins. Like to... Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> yeah. Do you know Word? No, Chief. Do you know Outlook? No. Do you know Excel? Oh, I think I met him once. Next. Do you know Excel? Um, uh, no. PowerPoint? I don't think so. Next. Is that stuff, like, important? Shoot, babe. Do you know Mail Merge? Yes, I do. Can you create hyperlinks? Yes, I can. Have you done style sheets? Yes, I have. Are you lying? Yes. Next. Do you understand shared workbooks? I believe in sharing. Okay. Hyperlinks? With different dimensions? Next. Your experience with pivot tables? Style sheets? Database queries? Computers? <laughs> <laughs> Next! Are you familiar with Excel? Yes. Word? Yes. PowerPoint? Yes. You understand hyperlinks? Completely. Pivot tables? Yes. Mail merging? Yes. Data sorting? Yes. Style sheets? Yes. Shared workbooks? Yes. How do I know you're for real? I'm a Microsoft Office specialist. <sighs> You are hired. <laughs>The reason why a lot of companies are standardizing on Microsoft Office is they've seen the power and the functionality of the product. In order to bring that power and functionality out, they need to raise the level of the training of the end user, and Microsoft certification is the way to do that. The problem right now for companies when they're interviewing people is to actually validate and to have a consistency across individual candidates. Someone can state quite clearly on that CV that they are an expert. We have no way of proving that. If you have somebody going into a position when they've expressed that they already have knowledge about a product and you find throughout the course of working with them that they really don't have that knowledge and they really don't have that proficiency, eventually and ultimately what it does is it really cuts back on the production for the whole department. Certification is a great fit for businesses because people don't know the product as well as they should. They're only using a, a fraction of it. If they knew the product better, they'd be much more productive, much more efficient in their jobs. There is a skills gap. The technology is very rapidly advancing. Having some sort of measure would allow us to see in what kind of position we can place these people when we bring them into the firm. Having the Microsoft Office Specialist Certification allows us to very quickly assess their capabilities and how quickly they'll integrate into our environment. It's a benchmark. It actually means that they can actually start recruiting on attitude and aptitude when they're looking at individuals, because if the individuals coming through with that certification are all of a, a boilerplate, they're all at the same level of skill set, it takes that unknown and that uncertainty out of it. It is invaluable to know who you're employing, the knowledge that they've got, and knowing their strengths and weaknesses. Certification shows that right away you know Word, Excel, Access, PowerPoint, and Outlook. So it's not a guess and game. The employer knows what I can do, and I think that's important to him because it means that he can give me work that he knows I'll be able to do. My boss came to me and said, I can't believe you actually know the stuff that you said on your resume. They can say with confidence that, yes, I am a Word expert, or I am an Excel expert, and whereas before they might not have felt real comfortable with their knowledge, but here's something that they can compare with other people and know that they are really expert users. The certification test models the real-world environment. 
when they complete the test have a proven proficiency that they can take to an employer. I think if you've got office certification right now and you walk into a hiring uh, person's office and say I'm certified in Microsoft Word or Excel, that person's probably going to sit up and notice you. People who are willing and able to go to that level uh, attaining those kinds of certifications, they tend to be the people that stand out in capabilities, requiring less support, able to do more creative things more independently. To have people within your organization who can't use the potential of those systems is an almost crime. Companies that standardize on Microsoft Office and then go and get their employees certified so that they can actually use all the power and functionality are going to have a definite competitive edge over those that don't. These companies are going to have a workforce that can operate at a higher level of efficiency. The bottom line is it's going to make companies more profitable. The fact that my company is getting certified is very exciting to me because that means that I'm going to be straight on the edge. If you can put Microsoft Office specialists on your resume, that's bound to get noticed. Thank you.